Okay, this is lab 6.5, where we are installing a Soho network. So we're creating home office and we need to install a router, a wireless access point, and then get our devices connected. Okay, so first thing we need to do is connect the router to the left ethernet port in the wall plate and provide power to the router. So we're gonna go in here to our computer desk area. We're gonna look at hardware. And over here we have some networking devices. So I'm going to drag the router out. I'm going to put it over here. And we are going to connect it into the left Ethernet port of the wall. So let's go back and let's go back to our inventory and grab a cable. So Looks like all of our cables are just Cat5e, so I'm going to grab a Cat5 cable. I'm going to plug one end into the leftmost port. Okay, now that I have it connected in there, I'm going to zoom in. And we're going to look at our router. And we're going to look at the back of this and get the other end of our cable plugged in to the back there. So let me get back on the cable. And let's grab this other end, and it is going into the WAN port. Since so that's providing our WAN connection. And then let's grab the power cable, and we will get this plugged into the back. And then come back up here, and let's get this plugged into, I don't know if it wants it in the wall, but or we have a power strip over here. I'm going to plug it in that. So let's plug it into our power strip. Oh, oh, that's a little too close. I'll move it to the end. There we go. And we got that plugged in. It's funny, I had this exact router once and this exact power supply, but I digress. So let's get back. So now we need to connect both desktop computers to the router. So let's look at the back of our desktop computers. I'm gonna go back. And we'll get our Ethernet cable plugged in here. Oh, that's the phone port. That's not going to work. Let's plug it into the Ethernet port up here. That desktop has a modem. I'm not sure if you're going to find any computers with a modem nowadays, but we'll come back and then let's switch over to this other one. We'll look at the back. Do the same thing, grab an ethernet cable, plug it into the network port, and then get the other end plugged into our router. Okay, now we want to configure both desktop computers to receive DHCP addresses and be assigned DNS servers automatically. So that should happen with DHCP. So let's get into this first computer. I just clicked on it. Down the bottom right, we're going to click on the network port and then click on the gear to get in and edit that. Let's scroll down. Let's see, where is that on here? Oh, left hand side, network and internet. Then we're going to go into Ethernet and we can see right now it's manual or static. So if we click on edit, we're going to change it from manual to automatic and hit save. Okay, and it looks like we got an IP address and we got the DNS server. Both of those are coming from DHCP. So let's go back to our desk and do that at the same thing on this computer. So again, down to our network port, configure, network and Ethernet, Ethernet. And then we can come down here. This one's also static. So we're going to edit that and change it to automatic and hit save. Okay, so that has an address now. Okay, now we need to connect the wireless access point to the router. So we're going to go back to our computer desk, networking devices, wireless access. Let's drag this guy out here next to the router. And let's flip that around and look at the back. And we'll zoom in. It looks like, yeah, we need power and ethernet there. So I'm gonna come back to cables, grab my ethernet cable, 
plug that into doesn't matter what port but we're going to plug that in plug in the other ethernet port let's grab our power get that plugged into the back and we'll plug the other end into our power strip these are kind of fat so we need to leave a space there between the two okay so now if i look at the front of this you can see it's connected just for grins, I'm going to flip this around. We can see that's powered up and running. Okay, so now we need to use this IP address to connect to the wireless access point in the management interface. So let's copy this address. I'm just going to highlight that so that it copies it. And I'll switch over to this desktop and open up a browser. And I'm going to paste that. IP address in, hit enter, it gets us to the web interface, and we're going to go admin, and then password is password. Okay, so now we're in to that wireless access point, and we want to set up the SSID as home wireless. So I'm going to go into wireless, and let's hit the basic. And the wireless radio is off. That's interesting, but we're going to change the SSID to home wireless. And the authentication mode is WPA2 PSK. So that's not on this screen. We're going to probably be on security. So let's switch over to security. Oh, did I not save that? Forgot to save it. Okay, home wireless. And let's apply it. Oh, it's making me log in again. Admin and password. Okay, there we go. That saved it. So let's look at security now. So SSID home wireless security mode. We want it to be WPA2 PSK. And AES is our encryption method. And then our passphrase, I'm going to copy that and paste it in. And hit apply. OK, so now we need to configure the laptop to connect to the wireless network. So let's switch back to the laptop now. Here's a tricky thing. When we look at this laptop. This is an old laptop. All this hardware in here is old, it looks like. This has a little switch right here to turn on the Wi-Fi. Don't see that much anymore, but we're going to hit that little switch to turn on the Wi-Fi in the laptop. And then let's get into the laptop and configure it. So we're going to go down to right here. This little icon means there's no internet connection. I'm going to click on that. We'll go to the Wi-Fi, and then we're going to choose Home Wireless, and we're going to connect it. And now we're going to paste that security key in there as well. We're going to hit Next. Okay, so that should be connected. Pull up a browser. We should see, yep, we got to Google, so we're good there. Okay, so now we're going to do the iPad. Same thing, connect that up. So... If we hit the iPad, I clicked down on the home button. And so now we're going to go into settings, Wi-Fi. I see the home wireless. We'll connect on that. We'll paste the password in there and hit join. And it looks like we're good. I wonder if they've simulated the internet on here. Nope, they haven't simulated it, but we should be good. We have everything all connected. Let's score the lab and see how we did. Great. Looks like we got it all. Thanks for joining me.